Hi, welcome to the Way to Eternal Life podcast with John Gill. Prepare your hearts and minds and be inspired as we open the Word of God today with you. Now, here is John Gill. Thank the Lord. We thank you so much for tuning in to today's podcast. Let us start out with a word of prayer. Father, we thank you, Lord God, Lord, for this day, Lord. And thank you, Lord God, Lord, that you have not left us alone, Lord. And thank you, Lord, for how that you have just blessed and encouraged us and strengthened us, Lord God, Lord. And Lord, we thank you, Lord, for what you have doing thus far, Lord. And Lord, we pray, Lord, that you will bless upon today's broadcast, Lord God, Lord. Bless the hearers, Lord God, Lord. Bless the listeners, Lord God, Lord, that they may um, receive your engrafted word that is able to save, Lord, and keep saved, Lord. And Lord, we pray, Lord, that um, those that have backslid and walked away from you, Lord God, Lord, we pray, Lord, that you would help them, Lord God, Lord, to return back to you before the everlasting too late, Lord. And Lord, whatever is accomplished, Lord, we give you the praise and the honor and the glory, Lord. And we ask all these things, Lord, in your Son, Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, I'd like to thank you so much for tuning in to today's uh, broadcast. I'm your host, John Gill, and this is The Way to Eternal Life, coming to you over all the major podcast stations. We appreciate each and every one of you all that is tuned in each and every time. Um, We thank you so much for um, any feedback that you've given us. Appreciate you tremendously, and thank you. we We just love, we just love you, and we're praying for you. At this time, um, we do have a selection, and we pray that this selection will be a tremendous blessing. And afterwards, we'll be right back to continue today's message entitled, uh, There's Just No Room for Christ in the End. May the Lord richly bless and keep you.
We will be right back. Here is a word from our sponsor. Hey, you! If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. First of all, it's free. They have all the creative tools that will allow you to edit right on your phone or computer. Wow, that's awesome. Then we'll distribute to all the major platforms too. Awesome, man. You can make some money with no minimum listenership. So what you waiting for? Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started today. Now back to John Gill. Honestly, excuse me, I can say this honestly, that uh, we were at one, once upon a time, we were in a stable life condition. That's why he came to this world to get us out of that stable life condition. Sin is dirty, sin is ugly. But during that time, now in a natural sense, before this, before this ever came about, before this ever came about, don't you realize, my friend, that some still did their thing? Even after Christ was born, they still did their thing. They bought, they stole, they did their thing. They were taxed, they were... Uh, people were greedy. Politicians were doing their things and all of that. Where is Christ? People going around and, and uh, um, buying things up and building beyond building, beyond building, making plans on vacation. Where is Christ? In today's society today, if you look throughout all the news that are around us right now, how many people are saying, we thank God for yet being alive? No, all we hear is, I'm just lucky. I'm a lucky man. Luck had nothing to do with it. It's because of Christ is the reason why you're not even dead to this day. It's the reason why Christ is still giving us a chance. Chance. Chance after chance after chance after chance after chance. But then, but right now they're still saying, I don't got time for Jesus. Even now people are saying, I don't got time for that, that, that Jesus. There's just no room for him in my heart. That's what we're talking about. There is no room for Christ in the end. The Bible says that I, behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man shall, shall open the door, I will come in and will sup with him. Turn with me. I want to misquote that. Turn with me to St. John chapter 10 real quick. There's just no room for Christ in the end. St. John chapter 10 real quick. And it says in verse 9, it says, I am the door, Jesus said. This is in red. And by me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture. The thief cometh not, but for to steal, kill, and destroy. But I have come that they may have life and have it more abundantly. So in other words, the first part says, I am the door. Let's turn back. I am the door. Jesus is the door. If any man shall enter in, he's open and wide open. But how many is willingly to step into it and give up everything? The devil knows that we right now in this society today. We just read it. The thing cometh not but to steal, kill, and destroy. He's destroying lives. He's destroying relationships. He's destroying. He's, that's why the 
the latter part of the encouraging part that I give you life and I'm giving you more abundantly. What's the abundantly? That abundantly is that it, it's, it's beyond measure. It's beyond things. And yet he, he's saying, I'm, I'm willing if you just give me a chance, just give me one chance. I can fix your, your relationship. I can fix your home. I can fix your finances. I can even heal your body, but you're not giving me a chance. There's just no room. No room. I ain't got time for God. Even after when the economy is shut down, you ain't got nowhere else to go. You ain't got, you, you, you don't have to go boating. You don't have to go do, do golfing. You don't have to do, go to a bowling alley or get your hair cut or what not would have you or go to the beauty parlor or anything else. Don't have to go on an exciting vacation of Walt Disney World or Walt Disney Land or Sea World or you name it. All the great amusement parks, sleeping at one of the one of the best hotels in the world, going to the Taj Mahal, going to New York City, seeing the Statue of Liberty. God knows how to get folks' attention, but no matter how many times that God is trying to get folks' attention, people still are saying, I still don't have time for God. We get praises to, not, not saying that they don't do a good job, but we get praises to the first responders, we get praises to uh, the doctors, we get praises to the nurses, we get praises to the people that are, uh, that are keeping our shelves full, but where is God and where is his due praise? No room. No room. How long before God Stop knocking. I don't know if you can hear this. After a while, that knock is going to get faint and faint and where you can't hear it no more. My friends, there's just, people are saying, there's just no room. Oh, I'm listening to the scientists. I'm listening to this. I'm listening to that. I'm listening to everything else. But what about God? Well, who's listening to God? Will you give him something to work with? He even took in the casinos away. He knows how to shut the economy down. You know that the economy is down. You know you 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 just sit back there and get bored. You 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 look on Netflix, ain't nothing new on Netflix. You look on Hulu, ain't nothing new on Hulu. There's nothing there, no no movie theaters, nothing's happening. And yet you're still saying, I don't have time for God. No. He's here to give you life more abundantly. Would you want that? Okay, let me go further. Let me go a step further. And I want you to listen to me carefully. If Jesus were to heal this whole plague right now, if he were to heal this COVID-19, how many will honestly give God the praise for healing. How many? People will praise more of the scientists before they'll praise God. Just no room. 
Young people, you got all these influences. You got you got all this fire going. You got all this all this going in your life and everything else. And now the prime has stopped. The commencements has stopped. That has stopped. You can't communicate with your friends because there's only so much you can talk about. And now God's still saying, I'm trying to get your attention. You know the difference between right and wrong. You may not necessarily put it into exact words, but you know the difference between right and wrong. And yet God's still God's talking to you in a still small voice. And all you can do is stand there and go on social media, which I have done against social media in a sense. But I'm going to use this for this for this example and only for this example. Basically, you go on social media or you go on uh, Periscope doing all these all godly dances and twerking and, and carrying on and whatnot, what have you, smoking weed and smoking pot and knowing where to go to go get the pot, knowing, good, knowing where, where to go to get the, uh, to, to sleep around with your boyfriend. There's always so much I could do with that. And then now and I'm going to go go out and go do something else and go do something else and go do something else. The devil's saying, and the devil's trying to wrap you around, trying to get you entertained, get you entertained, get you entertained, and God and Jesus ain't nowhere near on the scene. And when you could use that same energy, that same influence to change people's lives, to turn people's lives around, to actually say that, that Jesus is the answer for this COVID-19. But yet you, 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 would, you would say, well, the scientist says we got to get a vaccine going and there's no vaccine that can ever fix the problem that way that God can fix the problem. But there's just no room. I ain't got time for that. Oh, I gotta get my schoolwork. Oh, I gotta think about college. Oh, I gotta think about what university I gotta go to. Oh, I gotta think about, well, tomorrow we're gonna go, go, go down and we're gonna go swimming at the lake or at this pond that's nearby. Since the governor has already lifted up the bands and now we're gonna go to the beach. I'm tired of being cooped up in the house, but yet God's saying, I'm still trying to get your attention. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure you get my attention. What will it take for people to get to their knees and cry out to God, not to the scientists, not to the doctors, but cry out to God? Not sitting here singing songs about that, oh, there's rainbows, and oh, you can count on me, oh, he got the whole world, you're right, he does got the whole world in his hands, but what about, I need to get right back to God, I need to give God his due praise, I need to give God his due his due, his, his due praise, because he did not have to save me, he did not have to do what he did, but he did. God is nowhere near in the picture. They don't mind singing songs about, 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 about count on me and all this other stuff and, and using different songs to kind of lift up people. But the, yeah, you need to lift it up. But how about lifting yourself up to going to Christ? The Bible says, if I, if I be lifted up from the earth, what earth? The people. If the people lift up Christ, I will draw all men unto him. People who have these platforms ain't even utilizing the platform to bring people to God. Instead of bringing them to God, we're having more division now than ever. There's just no room. Where are you going to make room for him? Where are you going to make a space for him? Are you that much in love with Facebook and Instagram than you are with God? Oh, there's only so much cocktails you can drink. There's only so much vodka you can drink. There's only so much of everything else that you can drink and everything else. There's only so much I can clean my dog all I want to. But God's still talking. He's still talking. He's still trying to deal with you. He's still trying to say, get on the ark. Get on the ark. The flood is coming. The flood is coming. But I 
ain't got time for that. I'm ready because it's getting close to, it's almost 70 degrees outside. It is 80 degrees outside. I want to go to the beach. I want to go get my sun bang. I want to stand up on the rooftop and dance my little self to death. And the news is always bringing about negativity, putting blame game, blaming this party, blaming that party, blaming this one, blaming the media, blaming the media, blaming this president, or blaming the, 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 the elected leaders and all this, and doing all these protests and all that, and God is nowhere near in the picture. There is just no room, no room for Christ. People right now are even going online just trying to buy some, so it's just, just go online. We hope that you enjoyed the Way to Eternal Life podcast today. If we can be of any help, please let us know by emailing us at contact John Gill at waytoeternallife.com Once again, that is contact John Gill at waytoeternallife.com or visit us on our website at www.waytoeternallife.com or like us on Facebook at waytoeternallife53 Don't forget to subscribe and download the podcast to get continuously episodes. And now, here is John Gill with The Final Thoughts. As you heard the word of God today, people that are on this podcast right now, you heard it. Will you make room for him? While the inspiration is here, while it is now, will you make room for him? This is your final, this could be your final message. This could be your final plea. If you're in the hospital and you're wherever you may be, this may be your last chance to get it right with God. And yeah, you want to pass that up? Will you make room for him? Will you give your all to him? In order to get help, you have to admit what your condition is. There's just no room. Is there no room for Christ in the end in your heart? Or will you open your heart up today? and receive him before the everlasting too late. Don't let this be, Lord, is it I? Don't let this be, you will give an account for what you've heard. What does it say to me, Matthew 1, 21? She shall break forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sin. Jesus' people are saved from sin. When you give your heart and life to him, you can be free that very time, that very hour, that very second. But you've got to give it all to him. Don't pretend. Don't get into the emotionalism of it. But give it all to him. And when the Bible says, um, Godly sorrow worketh repentance, not to be repented of. In other words, that you've got to be sorry for hurting God to his heart. saying, God, I am so sorry for hurting you. Please come into my life. Let it be the Lord of my life. I was an abuser. I was this. I was that. Whatever your issue is, acknowledge it. And be sick and tired of being sick and tired of sin so that you can come to him before the everlasting too late. If you've done that, I'd like to hear from you. Email me at Contact John Gill at waytoeternallife.com or leave a um, Facebook comment at uh, waytoeternallife.com uh, uh, forward slash 
Wait to eternal life 53 and leave a comment there saying I gave my heart and life to him. Glory be to God. And I'm praying for you. We love you out there. I love you out there. I wouldn't be preaching the way I'm preaching right now if we didn't love or care. I care about your one and only soul. It's time, man. It's time, woman. It's time, young people. Let's come to God before the everlasting too late. Make room for Christ right now. And once again, there is a way to eternal life. May the Lord richly bless and may he keep you. Thank you for listening. Thank you for listening. And may God bless and keep you.